Now I'm back to learning HTML and this time I'm going to show the track tag. I don't really use this tag as it's used for subtitles and captions and there are other ways to create them. For example, in Premiere Pro directly, you can upload them on YouTube. But technically we have the option to add them right here. And you can now see our player has a control for captions. It's turned off by default, but if I add a default, make it empty. I refresh it. You can now see the captions are at the start turned on. I haven't given it a name, so let me add a label. I'll make it English subtitles. And I should be careful here with my typos. But here it is now, and there's still a typo, sorry about that. But whatever you add as a value to your label is going to be shown here. You want to define a source language, in this case for English subtitles it should be EN. You want to add a kind, so subtitles. And then obviously you need to add the source, so SRC and whatever you've got. Normally these subtitle files are VTTs, so it's file.vtt, whatever you've got in your folder. And that way you can connect your subtitles to your video in HTML. But once again, you can do that on YouTube. You can do that with editing software. So there is no true need for this. But technically it's possible and maybe you want to do that using HTML instead. On this is what you can use the track tag for in HTML. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.